I've got a $100 mystery box from Spastic Collectibles. I'm extremely excited to open this box and see what's inside, and we're gonna do that right now. What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing today? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. I hope I'm about to have a fantastic day. I have a $100, $100 mystery box from Spastic Collectibles. Uh, I actually really like Spastic a lot. I have pulled a lot of really great stuff out of Spastic. Uh, they dropped this $100 box. I think it was election day, maybe something like that. I don't really remember exactly when. And I bought it. It might have been Black Friday. I, honestly, guys, I don't remember. But anyway, it was $100. There is a guarantee value of $100. There are possibly four pops in this box. I am very excited to open this. Are you guys as excited as I am? I cannot wait to see what's in this box. But we're going to go ahead and get it open right now. So let's do this. Keep your fingers crossed, folks. Keep your fingers crossed, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is, right here. Spastic Collectibles. Spastic Collectibles. Yeah, there you go. Or it says Spastic Pops there. Hey, Spastic Pops or Spastic Collectibles? I don't know which one. But uh, all right, guys, so, man, this is exciting. I think this might actually be the most expensive mystery box that I have ever ordered from one company uh, at at one point at one time you know guys so i think the next highest was like a 75 dollar box maybe an 80 dollar box uh, but yeah so this might be the most expensive box i've ever bought 100 bucks is you know it is pretty high you know if you if you're trying to watch your budget or whatever i get it it's pretty high but i just really wanted to do it and see what i get so all right let's get it open <sighs> All right, guys, it felt like there was only one in the protector. I took them out because they bubble wrapped them all together. Um, and so I had to take them out. I didn't, I have still not looked at them at all. Uh, but I took them out and I stacked them back in the box individually. So here we go, guys. The first one that's in this box, it is. Oh, it's Kaguya. Yeah, okay. Atsutsuki 2020 Fall Convention. Well, that is the shared sticker. Um, not sure what this one, I do have this pop though. I have this pop, uh, in my collection already. I was able to get it at GameStop when it dropped that day. Um, actually we had a, there's a funny story about this pop. There was only two at our GameStop and the guy that came in right before us was trying to buy two of them. He was trying to buy them both, uh, obviously so he could flip them, but <clears throat> our GameStop knows us. And so they wouldn't let him buy both of them. So they let us have the other one. So let me go ahead and look that one up, guys. We'll see what the value is on uh, Kaguya Atsutsuki. Atsutsuki? I don't know this character at all. I'm not that far in Naruto. I guess this is Shippuden. I've only watched the original Naruto series. All right, so this one with the shared sticker, which is what it has right here, if you're curious, where it says 2020 Fall Convention. I think the regular sticker actually said, or the con sticker said New York Comic Con. Uh, that is the shared sticker, so this one makes it valued at $35, which is not bad, $35, so we are more than a third of the way to the $100 uh, guaranteed value, and there's still one in here in a pop protector, which is exciting. Uh, so let's pull out the next one, we'll see what it is. All right, second one, guys, it is... Pasha, oh, is that the pop around the world? Oh, it has the pin in there. Oh, okay, that's cool. This is the, I've never bought any of these. What country is this one supposed to represent? I don't even know. Pasha, pop around the world. So somebody tell me in the comments, what country is this? That's the flag, I guess. But I mean, red, white, and blue flag, that could literally be half the countries in the, in the world. Um, I don't have any of this set. I've never bought any of these. I've never really had a whole lot of interest in them. I think if I was going to buy one, it would probably be the pig, Hamsel, the, the German pig that's on the back. Uh, but I try to stay away from Funko's originals <laughs> just because, look at, that that wave right there is 12, guys. It's a hole that you don't want to fall down when you already have like 2,000 Funko Pops in your house. 
Uh, but there is the pig on the back. That's the whole wave. Let's look up Pasha and see what the value is on this one. I do actually like the pin though. The pin is actually really cool. All right, guys. So Pasha is valued at $30. I'm pretty sure these are all Funko Shop exclusives, but I could, I could totally be wrong, but there's no sticker on there. So I don't really know. Uh, but I do like the pin. You guys can see the pin right there. I think the pin is pretty cool. I don't know if I would take it out of the box and put it on my pin board, but I do think it's actually really cool. So I saw England and Ireland on the back of that box, but I don't see Scotland. Scotland is where my ancestry is from. Uh, so I would probably, I might buy Scotland if they made one that was from Scotland. Or maybe they have, and I just don't know because I don't pay attention to those at all because I don't want to get... I don't want to get stuck doing something like that. So, uh, but yeah, so Pasha third, what did I say? $29. It's still pretty cool. I do like them. I like that they're doing them. I like that they had the little, little book you could buy to put all those pins in. That's kind of a cool aspect to it because we're Disney pin traders. We like doing that kind of thing. So that might get you, uh, but 2000 plus pops guys i can't just go down a whole nother hole so all right let's look at number three let's look at the third pop in this box this one feels very heavy oh wait that's in the protect protector so we're gonna save that one for last all right put the protect protector back Pro protector all right this is the last one not in a protector it is oh well, that's awesome. That's the original Nightwing. Wow, that is cool. Okay, that's actually very, very ironic. Because I do have the brand new Nightwing that just came out. Uh, let's look up Nightwing because I'm not a DC fan. You guys know I'm not a DC fan. Well, I mean, it's not that I don't like DC. I just don't collect DC. Uh, let's look and see what Nightwing is. Oh, there he is wow wow so nightwing guys is valued at 26 dollars um it's a cool pull to, to get out of this box it's actually really really cool and i still haven't pulled the one in the protector so hopefully the one in the protector isn't like a two dollar pop but i think with that we're very close to our value 26 dollars. we're almost at like 90 bucks if not close to or exactly at 90 dollars uh, so let's pull out the final pop guys. I'm very I'm telling you I'm hyped. I don't know what this is, but I think it might be something good I just have that feeling just have the feeling it's gonna be something good, but it could be something terrible All right guys, let's pull out the pop that's in the protector. Here we go. Let me make sure I have the back All right. All right. Here we go. You guys ready? Whew, it is Oh That's cool 2020 Spring Convention Limited Edition Exclusive Boba Fett. That's like the art series Boba Fett. Um, I don't think this one was Futura, but art series in a protector. Let's look it up and see what it is. All right, guys. So the Spring Convention uh, Boba Fett, this was Emerald City Comic Con from, I think, this year, is currently valued, guys, at $40. Let me see if I can pull this off. Maybe not. It's hard to pull it off once they put a pop in there well, there you go guys spring convention boba fett 40 dollars. so let's look at the let's add it all up let's see what we got all right so i added them all up the total value on this box was 130 dollars um that's actually really really cool uh i i have kaguya i think i might actually have this boba fett but i'm gonna have to make absolutely sure uh that i have this one uh, but, but yeah, so I have those two, Pasha and Nightwing, of course, like I said, I'm not a big DC collector and I definitely don't really, I didn't want to collect the pops around the world. So, uh, not great hits there, but you know, definitely worth the value. $130 out of a hundred dollar box, 100% worth the value. Very cool. Uh, there's a couple of things here. I might be putting giveaways. There's a couple of things here. I might be putting on Mercari. I don't really know. I'll have to make up my mind and decide. Uh, so let me know in the comments below which was those was your favorite. Uh, are you an anime fan? Do you like Naruto? Do you like the pops around the world? Do you like DC? 
Are you a Star Wars fan? A little bit of everything in this box. So $130 value though, you can't argue with that. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Really like to see what you have to say. So the Spastic Collectibles $100 mystery box. I'm glad I did it. I wanted to see what, what was in that box. Uh, will I do it again in the future? Very possibly, because I enjoy buying mystery boxes. I enjoy seeing what I get. Uh, and especially if you get $30 more than what you paid, it's definitely worth it to me. I think it's 100% worth it, because even if I was to put all that on Mercari for what the PPG is right now, I would make $30 off of that box, guys. But I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I might give a couple of things away there. So that's really it, folks. As always, I am Ty Locke. This is Homespun Geek, and I hope you have a great day.